So many times I see people pop open saddle soap, grab a big chunk of it and just put it right onto leather. And then they just leave it. That's like taking a shower, putting soap all over yourself and then getting out. Saddle soap is a soap. It's to clean your leather. It is not to condition and protect it. It's an astringent. It will take oils out of your leather. I'm not saying don't use saddle soap, but use it the right way. And after you've cleaned off your leather with your saddle soap, then you can condition it. So I have three levels of boots here. One that was recently conditioned. One that was conditioned about a month or two ago and has had some wear. And then a pair of boots that has never been conditioned before. Let's start with our boots that have been conditioned before. I'm gonna show you how to apply saddle soap. Now like soap, it needs some water to activate. You can do that with a brush or a towel. So you will wanna start off with some warm water. And if you can have your boots by the fireplace, maybe in the sunlight, get them a little bit warm. It'll just make it a little bit easier to wash them. So we are going to dunk our brush in the water and we're going to get some suds going on our saddle soap. See how that looks more like soap than just something you slap on your boot and leave it? Then we're gonna start working the saddle soap into our boots. Now you can use this for any kind of leather boots, whether they be motorcycle boots, hiking boots, it works with them all. Now the reason I'm using a brush is because we do have some embroidery here. You might have some stamped leather and it will easily get into those crevasses. It really does not take much soap to clean off a boot. Now people might say saddle soap is for saddles. Well, leather is leather. Yes, cowboy boots are a little bit thinner. Well, I should say much thinner than a typical saddle. They're gonna have a lot less oils in them, but if you do a light coat, don't do too crazy with it and don't leave it on the leather for too long, you're gonna be totally fine. Now that we've lathered the saddle soap onto the boots, we're either going to buff it off with another dry brush, preferably a different brush, or a dry microfiber towel or soft cloth. As you can see, the more I rub, the more that I'm actually taking out of the leather, previous oils, things that condition and keep this boot nice. So you can see my rag picked up a lot of old dirt and debris from the surface. So now's the time to condition and protect your leather. I'm using Ray Holes Saddle Butter. There's also a great product called Leather Honey. One thing I'll say is that this has beeswax in it, so it's gonna give you a shiny look and a little bit of waterproofing. There are other types of treatments that you can do that won't waterproof. For example, there's this Venetian shoe cream, which will not waterproof or kind of grease up your boots as much. It's more just a leather conditioner. Since I've already buttered up these boots before, I'm gonna put some more saddle butter on them. Then I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna to do to the new pair of boots that have never been treated before. So at this point, I'm gonna take out the saddle butter and it's perfectly safe to put some on your hands. This isn't gonna affect you at all. Just have some oily skin. You're gonna to wanna to warm up your boots. You can put them by the window, in the sunlight, by the fireplace, by a heater. Just get the leather warm enough where it'll really accept this butter. And then I just like to put it on by hand and then we're gonna also brush it on too, just to make sure we're getting it into all of the cracks and crevices. Yeah, you'll notice immediately that the color of the boot is significantly darkening. And that is to be expected with most any conditioner that you apply. Although there are a few that do not darken the leather quite as much. So if you're not looking to darken your boot, I would suggest one of those, but if you're looking at mink oil or saddle butter, it will definitely bring your leather down several shades. Although I've treated the boot on the left before, you could tell just how much it darkens the boot with one we just did here on the right. And eventually it'll start to wear off a bit and become more like this one here. Yeah, I bet you want to see me rub oil over my boots today. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, it's nice. Oh yeah. Okay, so the right boot has dried a little bit longer than the one on the left. When it looks dry to touch is when you can buff it with a clean rag or towel. This saddle butter does smell amazing. 
It reminds me of being down at the firm. Oh yeah, that there's a pretty boot, I'll tell you what. Now these boots have never been treated before, so I'm not going to wash them. I'm not gonna saddle soap them. I'm just gonna get right into the conditioning. If you do need to clean your boots before you condition them for the first time, I'd suggest using a diluted all-purpose cleaner and some water, something very light to just get some dirt and debris off. In my case, I'm just gonna wipe them off with a little bit of a damp towel. Now, if you're worried about how dark your boot's gonna get, I always like to do a little test area, somewhere up where people might not notice it as much. Usually if it has a little strap or something that could kind of be passed off as already looking darker, I'll try it on that. So that is the saddle butter. And this is the cream. After we allow it to dry for a few minutes, we can buff it up and see that it didn't really darken the color quite as much as the saddle butter. So I'd use the cream if I didn't want to use these out in the snow, but I know I'm going to get salt all over them. They're more of an aggressive tread. So I'm going to go ahead and use the saddle butter on these and you're going to see how dark it gets. So you want the leather warm, but not like burning hot to the touch. So don't put them out in the sun, but put them next to a window that has some sunlight. Just get them a little bit warmer than room temp. All right, then we're just gonna work into the leather. You can really see it working with how light these boots have become. You can also see why we might need to use the brush to get into some of the stamping here. Stitching rather. Whatever, just put it on with your hands. Be a man. Yeah. So this one has these stripes, so I'll just kind of be careful not to get any of this on the fabric. And bam, there's your before and after. So here's the side by side. This right boot does need some more polishing. It's still drying, but you can already see a huge difference. It really pains my soul to see guys out there with muddy, greasy boots that aren't cleaning them off because you could get so much more life out of your boot if you just clean them off and condition them. I'd say you don't even need to use saddle soap. Nine times out of 10, you can just lightly wash them off with a damp cloth and condition them. But yeah, now this is sealed up pretty good against salt, water, all that kind of stuff. And finally, what do you do with a pair of boots that have recently been shined? Well, I say just leave them alone. Next, I'm gonna show you how to clean and condition leather motorcycle boots and leather hiking boots. Subscribe for more EDC content.